Welcome back. This is part two of targeting for RoboCode. We're going to be looking at perfect locks. A perfect lock is some code that will maintain a, a perfect lock on a robot so that we never lose sight of them. This is crucial so we don't expend extra energy or time trying to rescan for a robot when they move out of our sight. It's also crucial for examples such as this where our enemy may not follow a predictable manner, such as the walls robot that we looked at earlier. So let's have a look at some more advanced code for targeting. Here we have the turn multiplier lock, also known as a narrow lock. Now all the code you see here and in our previous examples can be found on the RoboCode wiki. So this code, here we start by turning our radar infinitely right until we find someone and then we scan them and when we scan we use we run this code here and this determines whether we're going to move the radar right or left and by how much and this here determines when we move it so after we've found how much we move it then we will move it these methods here just show us our current heading and the bearings to our uh, to our enemy. So let's have a look at an example of the narrow lock. This is our bot here, the turn multiplier bot. And you can see that we never lose sight of the crazy bot. Now in the rare circumstances that we do, our turn mul multiplier bot will simply do a full scan until it finds the bot again and then start. So we can use this code to determine whether uh, when to shoot and where to shoot or perhaps move closer or further away from the robot. Now let's have a look at our final technique for targeting. The width lock. This is very similar to the previous one except that we're going to have a wider range. Now this code you can see all uh, the comments in detail on the RoboCode wiki, but let's have a look at it in action. Here we can notice one distinct difference. We have a much wider arc for our scanning, and this helps so that we don't lose our, uh, our enemy. You can use all this code straight from the wiki. It's free to use. Thank you for listening and I'll see you in our next video on weapons.